The West Fold is under attack by the Goblins of Moria and the Orcs of Mordor. Can Rohan hold as Gondor is nowhere to be seen? Yeah, it's going to be one hell of a battle, guys. Welcome back to some more Rise of Mordor. Today, we are diving in with the Rohan sub mod. I always wanted to mess around more of this mod because, honestly, the units look so goddamn good. And we're also using the Trident map. There's a map modder out there who has been banging, like literally banging out these Game of Thrones maps. And they're awesome. Like, they're really, really cool. So I definitely want to do more Game of Thrones battles with them. But also, you know, why not go ahead and use them for some Lord of the Rings engagements as well? Because, yeah, they're really, really cool. And, you know, in addition to all these Rohan sub mods and stuff, we can get some really, really awesome goddamn battles. So I am bringing a fairly large army but it's mainly quantity over quality which is kind of weird right because normally that's what you expect the orcs of moria and uh and the goblins and, and stuff like that to be but you know we are going to be hoping that our formation can hold and then we're going to come in with the rohirren and try and clean up a little bit later so on my front line i have got an elite force of these swordsmen which we'll stick into shield wall right now uh, before we get overrun by the goblins so these guys will go into a nice little shield wall right now. Uh, very, very fitting for them. Then behind them, I do have kind of some medium tier swordsmen. Again, I think these guys look so good uh, for a sub mob. They look amazing. They really, really do. Uh, and then behind them, I've got some archers who are again set up. Unleashing their quivers upon the orcs. Now we'll go on slow mo as well as the orcs do get ready to descend upon me. And we should once again probably form up a nice little shield wall here. As the shield wall will provide us with some pretty nice bonuses to our melee defense. And we're definitely going to need it because these are just Rohan mustard spears. They're, you know, they're levy infantry. And I'm sure the orcs and orcs and goblins will rip apart. You can see the uh, goblins from Moria right here. As they charge into my battle line, a little small goblins compared to my men. Uh, and then as we go back, I have some elite axemen. These guys are going to be our sen sons of Edoros. And we'll throw these guys in when all hope is lost to kind of hold the line. And I'll probably end up committing these guys to my flanks where my weak units are. And then finally, we do just have some Rohan mustard men back here as well. They're, they're not ketchup men. They are mustard men. And uh, yeah, again, we'll probably try and counter charge some of these goblins as well because i'm expecting this flank just to absolutely crumble but again you know we are fighting some weaker units these are just goblin raiders on this side so maybe our men will actually do okay against them they are sending a lot against my cavalry okay we're gonna have to set up some men uh to deal with that looks like we're gonna have to commit some more men over onto this side as well so we'll do that and uh yeah it's a pretty large battle we have over twelve thousand orcs and uh and goblins and uruks against our 4,000 men. So, yeah, pretty close battle so far. Let's get our archers to just solely train on these guys over here. We'll get them to set up. You know, focus firing is probably our best plan of action. And I was just about to put these guys on guard mode, but obviously guard mode doesn't exist in Attila because this game's stupid. Uh, so we'll try and take down some of the Uruk Throng. These guys are obviously the top tier Mordor units as they move forward. Um, this battle is not looking good for us so far. Yeah, the archers do a great job, but you know, it's only a matter of time. They've even broken across my right flank. But again, you know, these are only goblin spear lurkers. So hopefully the, the men of Rohan will be fine. Oh god, we need to... Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's pause this really quickly. Let's pause it. Let's, uh, let's turn the music off because I want to add in some of my own music. And let's, let's sound the horns. Let's sound the horns and we will break upon them and we will crash into their ranks and uh, yeah, try and take them down, try and keep on going. Uh, we have this stampede ability as well, which boosts up my charge bonus. So we'll pop that up at the last second. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Men of Rohan, oaths you have to take, have taken, fulfill them for land and lord. As we come clashing into their formation. I guess we should probably hammer an anvil as well whilst we're in here. So we'll go on slow-mo again. Uh, we'll pull back our general. We'll pull back this cavalry um, as best as we can. Yeah, these sections might not break, um, but we'll pull them back. 
How's our main battle line going? Yeah, looking not so good there. The uh, the men are breaking through upon us quite heavily. I might have to commit a unit of my axes to these positions, um, as they're the units that are likely to hold. So let's, yeah, let's move to the flanks now and try and help out. We have some archers back here as well. We can bring these guys back just to maybe get a bigger focus fire there. The enemy generals are moving across the river. <laughs> the awesome looking trident. I love this unit from the sub mod as well. The, uh, the warmongers. Just huge blades. All cracked and yeah, messed up. A really, really deadly goblin unit. And it's quite funny as well because you don't actually notice uh, like how small these goblins are until they actually do end up being matched up against another unit. So our cavalry has fallen back. Yes, yes, perfect. Uh, let's keep on going there. Let's bring some men round the side. Let's use some horsemanship here to bring these guys down. Yeah, let's use some horsemanship. Let's try and like hammer an anvil into these ranks. Oh, another great charge there. We're going to have to bring these guys down bit by bit, I think. Uh, that is never a good sound. So once again, we'll go in. We have already used our... Oh, that ripping through the goblin from... Once again, out here into their front. They are in a shield wall, so they held that off pretty well. Um, over here, our General Feodin will do a much better job against the Axes. Perfect. Uh, perfect indeed. I mean, I have a Brace ability. I'll pop there. Why not? Base, the Brace ability is probably better used elsewhere, but that's all fine. Oh, our center has actually gone pretty well. Okay, let's try some tactics here. Let's form up a nice little shield wall right here with our reserve dismounted bow here in our Oathman. We'll bring back the Royal Guard. And we'll put the Royal Guard over on this flank where we're really struggling. Uh, like it seems like where the, the stronger portions of the Goblin Army is. So reinforcing here is obviously going to be a, a great idea. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Are they throwing in more men against us? Oh god, they got onto my archers as well. Yeah, this goddamn flank, man. Uh, we'll get the axes in as well. Our cavalry doing such an amazing job. I mean, this is the strength of Rohan, right? Even when they are mounted up like this, they do an amazing job. They are fighting some of the York pillagers, though. The heavy axes from Mordor. But, I mean, just look at them, man. Just look at the wonderful cavalry that we have to offer this day. And I love the swords as well from Rohan. They really do look like the swords from the movie. As they fight on bravely, pushing back the York scum. Really, really cool stuff indeed. Um, so yeah, how are we doing elsewhere? So we're actually doing a really good job there. I might have to try and bring my general out. Yeah, there's a lot of spears now. So let's pull back from this cavalry unit. You're fighting a lot, so let's bring you guys back. Uh, but yeah, my main problem is obviously defending this section of the of the, of the position, really. We're, we're breaking them here. So let's just form up again there. We've just got a lot of like levy units in our army, which don't really stand much of a chance. I, and yeah, look at our archers as well getting slaughtered by the orc pillagers. We need to deal with these guys like now. So let's throw in more of our infantry. Oh, the fighting is fierce here. Yeah, the orc, this is like perfect for the orc pillagers. It's exactly what the type of kind of combat that they want. Because they're you know fighting archers, they're heavy shock infantry, or at least medium shock infantry. But the axes are doing a pretty decent job against them. Once the, as soon as the archers turn around, we've got kind of a nice envelopment. But the orc commander is not stupid. He is sending some uruk from to reinforce here. And these guys will be perfectly adequate. Look at this. Look how small these gobos look. That's hilarious. Oh my god, this poor, this poor man of Rohan. He just wants to go and tend his crops. But I don't know if he's going to as these orcs just continue to... Or his, or his goblins continue to harass him. He just wants to tend his crops. Oh, we managed to win here. Nice. Uh, let's turn around and let's get these archers out. Let's form up like a formation right there. Once again, yeah, I messed up my micro on my cavalry, but that's fine. Uh, you guys probably just, yeah, continue. To, I mean, you're pretty dead. I, what I really need to do is I need to get some cavalry back here, if I'm honest. These swordsmen can form up like there. So break your shield wall. Go like there. You guys reinforce and hold that in place. Um, we've got some more swords here. You guys come around. Let's start doing some tactics now. Because you guys seem to get 
a little bit angry at me when I just sit back and watch the battle. You guys want me to win these and you want me to uh, make sure I do everything in my power. I mean, obviously, I, I try my best to make these as hard as possible to win. But let let's go a little bit more try hard now because I, I would like, I'd quite like to win this one. Because uh, it is very, very difficult to win. But I mean, I haven't really set up a good position here with my cavalry. But let's get the archers kind of firing a nice little arc right here. They'll be shooting into the enemy general. You know, I have made it so that we are not looking great. And I'm just completely overrunning my position here. Uh, let's bring back some more infantry. Let's get you stuck in. Um, and well, I guess we'll pull back. I mean, most of our archers are actually out of ammunition now anyway. So they can start to go in. We'll pull you back and we'll throw in these guys to take over. Yeah, we are We are not looking good here. But if this is to be our end, we will make it such an end. And then the, we, we've only got one person to blame here, and that's Gondor. You know, where was Gondor when the Westfold fell? Uh, so let's come in here now. This will be a big break if we can come in here. We've got some of our cavalrymen just holding there. Uh, and then we're about to come in with the rest of our general as well. And we'll probably blow the last of our fatigue here. We need a big break. Because my original plan, I mean, this battle just did not go to plan one bit. My original plan was to hold the enemy in place of our infantry and then use the cavalry as they came across the riverbank. But, yeah, that didn't really seem to uh, yeah, go down too well. So the rest of the sword can come in. And we managed to surround these men. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, that's a brutal kill right there. That was awesome. Love to see that. Really, really cool. So I continue to fight on bravely. I mean, hopefully we can just break. Yeah, we've broken a large portion of them, but I just don't think it's going to be enough on that side. Their reinforcements are now coming in from the back part of the battlefield. We have some men who have completely come back here, and we are making some serious breaks right there. But, oh, no, our swordsmen on this side are being completely enveloped. I mean, they are Royal Guard after all, so they're going to have to hope that they can hold firm. But the Warmonger, oh no, so yes, the Warmonger is on our back. The huge blades are going to be able to clear out this shield wall really, really effectively. And that's not going to be good for us. I mean, you can see them trying to get into our formation, breaching it, taking casualties, but eventually, you know, succeeding with their goal. Yeah, as you can see, our formation is very much broken. We're trying to, like, make ground over on this side. If we can maybe break them on this side, we can then push round and, like, kind of cover our back a little bit. We've got a lot of, like, these broken units who are now forced in. A lot of these archers, which are just having to, to fight to the, to the death. Oh, this cavalry has survived. Okay, great. Okay, let's bring the cavalry back, and we're going to throw these, this horse back. And, you know, these guys are, are basically defeated now. Let's break this unit of uh, weakened units, and then we'll send our general back. We'll send the reinforcements back, and we'll send you guys back. And we'll just let this small unit of cavalry come in and clear these guys out. And yeah, everyone else, just get your asses back to this fight ASAP, because, yeah, we desperately need it. The archers are just f f firing out their last couple shots. Bring them down, bring them down. You guys are out of ammunition, so counter charge. You guys still have a couple shots left. Counter. I mean, this is not going to be a good charge, right? Archers versus warmongers. Yeah, the goblins took out a lot of my heads on that. The cavalry is coming in, but no, my flank broke. Okay, then we'll just charge against the ranks of Mordor one last time. Uh, for Wrath, for Ruin, and the world there. Well, no, it's not even that. It's for Wrath, for Ruin, and a Red Dawn? Or am I thinking... I always mix up the two speeches. I always do. Because there's, there's one speech where Feodin gives when they leave, uh, when they leave the rally point, and then there's obviously the uh, the Pelennor Field speech. And the Pelennor Spiel, uh, Fiel, Pelennor Spiel, Pelennor Field speech is like the Wrath for Ruin and a Red Dawn, or I can't even remember, man. That's embarrassing. I have failed you all this day, but yeah, I always miss up the two. Okay, let's keep on going in. Theoden has clashed in against the enemy ranks. I mean, he's done a pretty good job as well. I mean, the Rohan Cavalry is super strong in the sub mod. And I absolutely love it. And we were always obviously expecting this. I should have brought more horses. 
It's nearly half of what I was expecting. I should have bought like 10 cavalrymen. And maybe the West Fold wouldn't have burnt. Okay, we've got some horses here still left remaining as well. I'm going to go in for one last charge. Probably going to be pretty impactful though, yeah. Just against these lightly armoured goblin scouts. Be very effective there. Oh, slaying a handful of them. I mean, we should see a lot of these goblins go down. I, I doubt many of them would be able to pierce the armour. Probably just killing the horses and then killing the rider. How's the rest of our formation doing? Pretty successful over here, but yeah, only a matter of time until we do go down, I fear. Our formations are completely enveloped. We have one unit of our infantry here. They're fighting Uruks. And goblins mixed in between one another. And I think as soon as Thaladin goes down, it's over. Maybe we can try and break out the formation. Charging against the enemy general. Maybe there is still hope. Killing this enemy general could, you know, cause a chain route, but I doubt we will be able to bring him down. Especially as just we get overrun by his men. We managed to break a unit of uh, goblin raiders, so we'll take that. But yeah, our cavalry is, uh, yeah, just the sheer numbers. I mean, how many have we killed? We killed a lot of them. We killed over half of them, but just not enough. Just not enough. And now just our elite men are the only ones still left remaining. Theoden has been slain by the sheer number of goblins. I mean, actually, this could be, I mean, it's a bit late now. You know, it's a bit late. We, we class this as the Westfold, but this could easily be the, oh, we have to do that. We need to do the, and use this map at some point in the future, but where Theodred dies and gets ambushed by uh, by uh, the Urukai from uh, Saruman. That'd be really, really good uh, to do, because this is like a perfect map for it, right? an ambush on this because you can use this entire river because it's a battle of the trident so i think that'd be really really cool to do we'll probably have to come back and do a scenario battle at some point so i mean our men did really well um fared in 600 kills our front line over 400 kills a piece basically besides this unit axman 700 kills our cavalry over 200 kills it's just they had too many. They had too many men and yeah, they overran us um, and we just could not withstand the might of Moria and Mordor uh, whatsoever. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle. If you want to see more battles like this where we just jump into a cool map, cool custom map battle, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I do need to do more Rise of Mordor but I don't really get many replays anymore. So you know, this is kind of like the next best alternative. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like and a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.